And welcome to my airbrush.ai review. In this airbrush.ai review, I'm going to go ahead and tell you everything that you need to know about airbrush.ai. And I'm also going to take you inside the airbrush.ai members area to show you how powerful this piece of software is. So airbrush.ai is a piece of software that can turn any piece of text into an image. Um, it's a fairly new software. It just came out not too long ago. And right now they're offering a deal on AppSumo of uh, $29, and that'll give you lifetime access to the tool. It gives you 500 credits to work with per month, and the credits reset at the beginning of the month on the first, and um, the credits do not roll over though, um, but that's more than enough credits to do what you're probably gonna need to be doing with it. And it also comes with commercial license as well as these lifetime codes. Also, I am uh, offering a uh, giveaway right now. So this goes in effect from now up until December 24th at, uh, from now until December 24th at midnight. And I'm gonna be drawing at uh, giving them away um, on December 24th at noon. So uh, go ahead, sign up for those down below. And um, all you have to do is enter in your email uh, to be uh, considered as one of the uh, two lucky people. I'm going to be two, two codes away. So uh, one code to two people um, is going to get this. Uh, it's an early Christmas present. So uh, that's just a thank you for uh, watching this video. So um, also make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as I have more videos just like this coming up in the near future. So airbrush.ai is a tool that allows you to turn any type of text into an image. Um, you can generate AI powered images in just one click. This is a sample of the images that you can get. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the software and show you how it works. So let's go ahead and into airbrush.ai. So this is airbrush.ai right here. And you have um, some options here on the left-hand side. This is your dashboard. You see all your recent generations in here, all of the, uh, the um, the images that you've that you've recently created um, you can also create your image right here so if you click on that here's the uh, the actual prompt where you can go ahead and create your image uh, your history is where you can go in and see uh, the images that you've created in the past search galleries where you can search for other people's uh, things so let's go ahead and search for house and we'll go ahead and search and this is what other people have created and uh, the cool thing about this is you can see what other people have created. So if you kind of like what they've created, you can uh, hover over, hover your mouse over the text prompt and it will show you exactly the prompt that they put in to get this. So it's really, really cool uh, how that works as well. So as you can see, there's pretty, pretty cool outputs here um, where people have done this. So let's go ahead and uh, it also has an image upscaler. So the image upscaler, if you click on the image upscaler, it allows you to input a URL. So the cool thing about this is you can input any a URL of any, any image on the internet. So as long as it's got a URL, you can go ahead and uh, upscale the image. Now what it doesn't tell you here is that it costs one credit to do so. So out of your 500 credits that you get each month, uh, for each image that you go ahead and you upscale, uh, it's going to cost you one credit for doing that. And the upgrade, you don't need the upgrade if you purchase the lifetime because you um, obviously have lifetime access. You don't need to upgrade it. So um, let's go ahead and create an image. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create, uh, let's see, a portrait of Santa Claus. Uh, since it is Christmas time, we'll go ahead and put in a portrait of Santa Claus and um, photographic quality, very finely detailed. Okay, so let's put that in there. And we can select our AI engines. There's two AI engines that we can uh, cert that we can come from here is Stable Diffusion and Doll E2. So um, if you don't know the difference between the two, you can look them up, you can Google them, you can see the differences between the images. Doll E2 is more of, in my opinion, it's more of like a cartoonish 
type of images. Uh, those are good for um, like little, uh, if you want to do vector images or if you want to do logos. Uh, Dolly 2 is great for logos, but if you want to do like photographic images and things like that, um, Stable Diffusion is the better one to go with here. Now, you're going to see down below, it says this generation will consume one credit. So Stable Diffusion will Stable Diffusion at the large image dimension will consume one credit. If you go with Dolly 2, Dolly 2 is a little more expensive. It generation it's the generation cost for Dolly 2 at, at a large 5x12x5 five by by five, or 512x512. Five 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 it's going to be 9 credits out of your 500 a month. So keep that in mind too. Dolly 2 is a little more expensive uh, to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and do stable diffusion and we'll keep it as a large. Here are, here are our options, a small, large, and extra large. So the small will consume a half a credit. Uh, the large will consume one credit, and then the extra large will consume four credits. And the extra large is uh, 1024 by 1024. So we're going to just stick with large here. And let's go ahead and create image. Now, this really doesn't take a whole lot of a whole long time. Um, you're going to see the preview here, and here is our generated image. So we have a couple options here. We can download it. And we can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So I like this image. I think it's a really nice looking image. Um, really not many imperfections with this image other than maybe the hat doesn't look all you know too symmet symmetrical. But that's not a big that's not a big important thing for me. Um, so I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing your feedback. And I can download it if I want. Now um, I did uh, show you the image. Upscaler. So in order to get this image upscaled, what we need to do is we need to right click on this image and then we would need to um, copy image address. Okay, copy image address and then we'll go to the image upscaler and we'll go ahead and paste this in, my, in our URL box. And let me make sure there's no spaces in here. There's not, even though it looks like there is. And then we'll submit and this is going to upscale this image that we just created of Santa Claus. And this image has just been upscaled. And then we can have uh, the option to download it here. So uh, we have created a um, image of Santa Claus and we've also upscaled it in just a few seconds, less than a minute, less than a minute this took. Now the difference between airbrush.ai and Midjourney and Dolly 2 is that this only generates one image per generation per generation now midjourney and dolly 2 will give you like four or five uh, per generation but this one only does one so keep that in mind as well let's go ahead and create another one um we'll do um a quiet cottage in the woods At Christmas time and we'll do very finely detailed photographic detail okay now photographic quality is what I want photographic quality and we're going to keep this a stable diffusion and we're going to do a large 5x12 by 5x12 or 512 by 512. Okay. And uh, it's going to consume one credit, create image, and it's going to go ahead and create our image. Now we can also see how many credits we have by clicking our uh, picture up here. So if we click our picture up here, um, we have um, 360, I have 369 credits left. We can see that at any time that we want by clicking that up there. And here is our generated image. And if we double click on that, we can see a bigger uh, image here. And um, that is our uh, quiet cottage in the woods at Christmas time. And we can, uh, let's go ahead and generate another one. Let's generate a grumpy cat. See what a grumpy cat looks like with stable diffusion here in airbrush.ai. There's our grumpy cat. Um, 
Let's go ahead and use uh, the same prompt in Dolly 2. So I'll show you a difference here between the two AI engines. So let's go ahead and create, and we'll see what the difference is between the two. Okay, so Grumpy Cat here. And uh, let me just look uh, portrait of Santa Claus. And we'll do that so you can see the difference between that and what we previously got. And that is a portrait of Santa Claus. Looks more like a ceramic portrait of Santa Claus. Um, okay, so we'll stick with Dolly 2 and we're going to do a logo for a car wash. And we'll see. Um, I noticed that Dolly 2 does really good uh, logos for the most part. So let's go ahead and see. See? See how the, uh, the, the logo, how good the logo is? Let's create another one. But um, at this point in time, um, with uh, AI images at its infancy, um, we'll do colorful. AI images at its infancy. Um, it's really not uh, creating text all that well right now, so you're probably going to have to take the text out. Okay. So it does a pretty good job at uh, logos. You might have to fine-tune your uh, prompts to get exactly what you want, uh, but I'm not going to go into detail with the prompts. I just want to kind of show you how everything works. And last but not least, we're going to do another one here. Um, a teddy bear sitting on a rocking chair and very detailed photographic quality. So, so I find that very finely detailed and photographic quality gives me the best images. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's usually what I do uh, with every image on here, unless I want like a cartoony image. And there is my teddy bear sitting on a rocking chair. So that came out pretty good. So um, I hope you found this video helpful on my uh, airbrush.ai review. Um, don't forget I'm doing that giveaway. Um, click the link down below. Sign up. All you have to do is enter your email in there. And um, I'll be emailing all of the winners on uh, December 24th. And um, you can go ahead and pick up airbrush.ai at the uh, link below. It's on AppSumo uh, right now for $29 for a lifetime deal. This includes all the updates in the future. You can't go wrong with this. 500 credits every single month. Let me go ahead and show you real quick here the regular pricing on this. Uh, there does give you a free plan at 20 image credits a month. Now, if you were to go to the 500 image credits, that would cost you $9 a month right now. This pricing may change in the future, but your lifetime you have for life. So one-time payment and that's it. $9 a month right now for the premium plan for 500 image credits. And um, you get access to, uh, to everything on here as well. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.